If you are like most humans, there are going to be some seasons of your life where you have a descent into darkness and it's normal and it's okay, but there is something we can do as that's happening that will keep us from descending further, keep the darkness from overtaking us. And I want to talk about that today. I'm Stacy Rockline and it's my mission to eradicate loneliness. And that's actually what's happening when we're descending into darkness. Loneliness is overtaking us and it's hard. I mean, I remember being at this point in my life when I was a stay at home mom, I had little kids. And so that's just, that's just a lonely time anyway, if you don't have a mommy group or something, because there are no adults around and kids are cool, but they are not adults. And you can't talk to them about adult things. So you're having conversations with children. Um, It's If you can go out in the sunshine and go to the park, it's easier. If you've got a play group, it's easier. But this was in the middle of winter and it was dark outside. And it was like so snowy and gross to bundle up kids and take them somewhere. So I started to descend into some darkness, started out just feeling a little blue, but it was beginning to overtake me and wasn't really good at reaching out, which I'll talk about in a minute. So I started to disappear from things with like small little invitations that I said no to and just little things like this. And so I had a friend call me up and say like, how's it going? And we did the like chit chat and what's up with the kids. And then she said, how are you doing? And I was like, oh, fine, fine. And she was like, well, like you're kind of disappearing. You know, how are you really doing? And in that moment, I was like, I can't keep pushing the fine, like, you know, narrative because I'm not fine and she knows me. And so I said, I'm not fine. And I don't know why I have no reason. I like, I have no problem to solve. Nothing happened. And I think this is one of the problems that happens when we descend into darkness is that we don't ask for help or step out because it feels like we have to have a reason, right? We have to be like, oh, this thing is wrong that I need help with, but you you don't always know. So you have like a, a perfect storm of you start to feel blue. You have no reason why then because you have no reason why you don't step out. And then as you further descend, you become lethargic, unable to go out and see people, unable to make yourself do things. And so you start to feel lonelier and lonelier and lonelier. Once I shared that, I felt a million times better because I just needed to start connecting again. Like I didn't need to talk about what was going on. I didn't really have anything to talk about, but I needed to connect. Connection is the antidote to that descent into darkness. That is what you need. So what can you do? What can you do? Now, I was really lucky that I had somebody I was really connected to that called me up and called me out, wanted to know what's going on with me. But the reason I had that is because of the relationships that that we created before the dark moment. It's in all the rest of the time. It's all the times that I sat with her just while she talked and she had her moment of darkness and she felt connected that we established intimacy in our relationship and an energetic connection that she could tell something was wrong. It's all those times that we laughed together at the park. It's all of those other connections that we made. So if you don't, if you're not descending into darkness right now, make sure you keep doing those connections because they are putting in the groundwork for those moments, if you like me, sometimes get a little blue. That mattered. I also told the truth. When she asked me what was wrong and pushed me, I could have said it sooner. I finally did say the truth. I didn't try to spin a narrative that everything was okay or try to convince her that everything was okay because it wasn't. And that would have just further made me feel alone. So when you are going down, reach out to somebody. At the minimum, if someone comes for you, tell the truth. Work on those relationships so someone might come for you. But it's our responsibility to reach out. We do have to depend on ourselves. And even though you feel lethargic and you feel like you don't want to, and how am I going to reach out to someone I don't even know what's wrong? Do it. I have like this. I have this friend who's amazing. She will do send out a group message that says, 
I am struggling. I need like girl time. It's brilliant. And then also we're all there for her. So that's what you want to push yourself to do and something I'm honestly still working on. But what I want to talk about also is um, I hear this way too often. People say, you know what? I ask for people to come and they don't show up for me. I'm like, I'm out doing the things. I'm out being a good friend. I'm trying to make the connections and then I'm struggling and I'm like, I need people and they don't come for me. And it's heartbreaking. And it usually comes down to two, one of two things. Either one, they aren't actually creating connections with people. They are doing things for people. They are, they are working on relationships, but not in a way that creates connection. Connection is created when someone feels really seen and heard. And if you come in solving problems, that sometimes makes somebody actually feel the opposite of seen and heard. Like, you don't get me. If you come in uh, kind of in a smothering way, like, okay, I'm going to do this for you and this for you, and then we're going to do this and we're going to do this, and I'm going to be here every minute of every day, that actually creates people pulling away from you, pulling back from you. So it might be that you're not out actually creating connections. All, it's so easy. All you have to do to create connections is just be present for people. Just be present and listen and ask questions. You don't have to do anything else. That lets people feel seen and heard, and that is what creates connection. So it might be how you're connecting, and it might also be who you're choosing to connect with. Because givers, I love you, but you do attract needers. So you may be giving, 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 giving to a needer or many needers in your life who then cannot give back. That's not what they do. So then it feels like, geez, I give all the time and then I don't get anything back when I need it. So it might be also who you're choosing. Okay. So if you're like, I am doing the things and you're not getting the results, is it how you're connecting or is it who you're connecting with? Because I want for you to be able to reach out to somebody, to have a name in your pocket at any times, like, and you've selected this person super carefully so that you know this person's going to make you feel connected. They are not going to problem solve you. They're not going to, because how, how do you solve a problem if you don't even know what the problem is? You know, if you have no problem to present, you want to pick someone who's just going to listen, who's going to be there, who sometimes is just going to sit with you, right? While you fold laundry or whatever it is, put that name in your pocket of that perfect person. And when you start to make that descent, make that call, send that text message, it will keep you from going down further to start connecting with people again. And it's so it's okay. You're normal. It's just no big deal. You will have blue moments. We all have blue moments. So then reach out. And if you're lucky and someone comes for you, tell the truth. And if you are looking at a disconnected life, make the adjustments you need. And if you're like, I am at a loss. I have no idea, Stacy. I'm looking around my life. There's nobody. There's nobody coming for me. There's nobody to connect with. You deserve to feel supported and seen and loved. You deserve that. Everybody deserves that. So I want you to widen your scope. It may not be right here in your town, right? Like I have a membership called Seen and Heard that's filled with people who were strangers before they joined it. It's a community full of people who are supportive of each other, who show up when someone is in need. So you can come join our membership. If you want a place where you can start feeling supported, you can do that. There are other things online, but take an action. Do something now so that you have a way to stop the descent into loneliness because that is a hard place to be. And the deeper you go, believe me, I know, the harder and harder it is to get out. And connection is the ladder out. And the shorter you can make that ladder, the better, right? So catch it before it's too much of a problem. So if you'd like to join us, you can find out about uh, the you can find out more about the membership at the link that I'm going to leave here. And if you are feeling really great, go out and keep feeding those connections. If you're feeling a little blue. Who can you reach out to so that you do feel like you belong, loved, supported, seen and heard? You deserve it.